Michelle Tradeo. <clears throat> Michelle, you have uh, three registrations that go back 12 years. As old as my son. <laughs> well, yes, it is. I am 12 years old. <clears throat> Who's vi is this your son? This is my son. Yes. What, what's your name, son? My name is Arion. A R I O N. Arion. And I am in the seventh grade. And I am very tall for my age, as some people say. You are very what? I'm very tall. I'm very tall for oh, my age. Oh, you're very age. tall for your age. Yeah. Okay, well, you're handsome, too. You get a handsome son. I try, I try. Thank <laughs> you. <clears throat> you uh, what school do you go to? I go to a school near, like, um, the Providence Center yeah, School. Yeah, the Providence Center School. He's mm -hmm. on the autism spectrum and has ADHD. Oh, he appears to be very intelligent. A lot of hard work goes into yeah. that. <laughs> very articulate, and you make a nice impression. And I love to draw. Drawing is my favorite thing ever. That's good. What do you, what do you want to do when you get out of school? Anything um, special? I want to go to a good college and, like, probably do something successful, but I don't know yet. I have a lot of options. It's kind of hard to decide when you're at this age still, especially when you're, like, 20. And it's like you don't know what to do because, like, at some points, you want to do what you want to do, but then again, you don't want to disappoint your family in any type of way. You are speaking with the maturity of an adult. He's, he's very mature. You have a very excellent way of expressing yourself. You do a great job. You may want to think of doing something in that area. I'm not sure. You give me the impression of someone who wants to help other people. He's got a really good heart. Thank you, sir. Now. You make a great presentation. Now we've got to talk about your mother. Your mother has four red light violations. Four? Red light? Yep. Well, you're lucky because we happen to have a video of awesome. North Main in Cyprus. <laughs> oh, wow, even better. Oh, thanks. I still love you, Mom. Appreciate it. Okay, the light is red already. The light is red. The light is red. Actually, she stopped. All right, Lisa, let's look at 440. The light is red, the light is red, the light is red. She almost stopped. What do you think? Did she stop sufficiently for me to give her a break on that? Yeah. I mean, I've seen my mom do that all the time, and, I, and even I don't think there's a big of a problem with it. Awesome. <laughs> not, all, not all the time, but sometimes, I mean. Now we have another red light. Lisa, let's look at 626. Is that her car? Okay. <gasps> How dare you? I just heard you say, I dare you. I said, How I dare she, you? Oh, I'm sorry. I said, How dare you? Because she's like, How could you do that? <laughs> no. You are being chastised. Huh? He's you so are harsh. being chastised. Yeah. And rightfully so. Yeah. You've got a great kid. Let me tell you something. You, we think you, you think you know your own mom, but then she goes out and blatant does the dramatics. <laughs> now, let me ask you a question. Because I, I really don't want, I don't want to say anything that, that, that is inappropriate. Do you, have any, do you have any reluctance about talking about autism? I do not. Right. Because I am so impressed with this young man. You know, and you started off by saying, you know, that, that he has autism. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this. Um, Maybe well, you want to tell since, us. Do you want to talk? Yeah. Ever since he was a little boy, we realized that he may have been on the spectrum. Um, we always thought Asperger syndrome. <clears throat> but he's very high functioning, and we put in a lot of work with him, and there's a lot of processing that goes on. And um, getting the diagnosis was hard, but what happened was that about th almost three years ago, Dad left suddenly, and sorry. There was she, an. She doesn't like talking. There was an it. increase. She don't have, you don't have to say something. It's okay. There was an increase in behavior problems with him in schools. Um, so we ended up having to get some services through Butler, and through the whole process, ended up getting placement for him at the Providence Center School for me because. In the public schools, it, they just weren't equipped to handle the outbursts that he has and the needs that he had. And I was I'm getting called to the school two, three times a week, having to 
intervene to be able to calm him down or whatever the case was and pick him up? Or um, I've had autism for most of my life. And um, um, like some people have like kind of teased me for it and like some people have said like been mean to me. And I think just because you have like a spit, I know someone else who has autism and ADHD and he goes to my school. And I think just because you're different, that doesn't mean you should be treated differently because we're all human beings. <laughs> and um, personally, I don't see myself that different from other people just because I have autism. I'm basically a normal kid and I love to do normal kid stuff. So, yeah. I guess you could say I'm proud to have my autism in some type of way because it makes me who I am now. I am so impressed by you. You, you present very well. I mean, and I think you just, your explanation just resonated with me. And I just hope that you can be an inspiration to a whole bunch of other people which I'm sure you are and will continue to be. So I want to congratulate you for that. Can you come up here? I want to shake your hand. You should be real proud of this guy. OK, here's what we're going to do. What is your verdict in this case? Case dismissed. OK, you won your case. Awesome. Your Thank lawyer you, babe. represented you well. <laughs> Good luck to you. While I can only imagine the challenges that Michelle has faced raising an autistic child as a single mother, I can say with certainty that the results are outstanding. Arian says he is proud that he has autism because it made him who he is. And who he is to me is without a doubt one of the most impressive young men that I have ever met. We all need to listen to Arian's advice. Just because you're different, that doesn't mean you should be treated differently because we're all human beings. Beautifully said, Arian, and congratulations, Michelle, for raising such an inspirational son. Come on, how cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh, wow, your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtandprovidence.com, click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.